If we release till we can see the data in the development server, but we cannot edit the data. No. If you release, the data is there, configuration is there into the development system. You can still do the changes in the configuration. Okay. So what how you would be doing the config changes in the configuration? If you want to do further change in the configuration, a further next transport request would be created. Okay, a next transport request would be created. Let's say you created this transport request 1709. In this one, you have a plant and company code assignment. And then you said, oh, wrong. I, I need to delete this plant and company code assignment. I need to do another plant and company code assignment. You will be creating another TIA. Maybe at that time, the number label 1711. And then you will delete your existing plant and company code and you will move the correct combination. You will be setting it up. Then there will be two transport requests. You need to give a sequence of your transport request to the basis team that first 1709 will move to the system that would be having your plant 1710 link with SG, sorry, 1710 company code link with uh, SGS3 plant link with 1710 company code. First, that transport will move. Then second transport will move 1711, which will delete this entry in the quality system. And it would be putting the entry that SGS3 is linked with SGS3. Okay, that will be moving with that. That need to go in sequence. First 1709, and then 1711. 1709 will be going with the wrong configuration and 1711 is a correct configuration to fix the wrong configuration in 1709. Okay, this is what we do. This is how you need to make sure that you take care of the sequence of the transport request and you can also correct the configuration by creating a new transport request.